I did have COVID test, I don't have COVID, but I'm really like dying. <coughs> For fuck's sake. Hold on. So today we're gonna be doing the ultimate like bimbo boss. I got a new breastplate sent by Roanier. I'll leave the link down below. They're huge, massive tats. <coughs> That's like disgusting. Anyways, I'm like very, at first like this week I thought I had COVID cause I was like, I can't be like this sick, right? And I just, I did like a COVID test and I literally don't have it. And I was like, great. Every year I get super sick around like the same time. So when Thrace goes out or whatever, pollen or whatever it's called, I always get like hella sick. And yeah, like it's just not the vibe, but it is what it is. And I was working a lot too, so like I just, I couldn't catch a break. And like, the first like, three days are super scary. Cause I just like, I have difficulty, like I'll start coughing. But then I literally cannot, I just, I cannot breathe. I cannot breathe, like I, oh my god. And Nathan like kept it, like I was like literally suffocating. And Nathan started being like, oh do you want to go to the doctor? I'm like, don't be like, I'm literally, I can't breathe right now. Like, don't say stupid things. It's like, you're not helping. Anyways, we're beefing a little because I spent the, uh, the week in bed. But he also, like, spent the week going out while I was at home alone. Which I don't blame him. Like, why would you want to stay with your, like, sick spouse? But I would have. And it's like, he literally went out every day. And yesterday I went out to see my friend because I was feeling better. And he literally was also like going out. And then like this morning he wakes up and he's like, he's mad at me for some reason. I'm like, well, why would you be mad? Then I ask him, I'm like, well, you know, please tell me, like, I want to understand. And he's like, well, I feel like you don't want to go out with me. I'm like, okay, well, what makes you think that? And you're like, well, you spent a week not wanting to go out. And I'm like, okay, but you witnessed that I was like short of breath. I don't want to go out. I don't, he wanted to go to parks. I can't go to a park right now. It's allergy season. Like, I'm gonna die. And he's like, yeah, but you went on a, on a terrace. And people are like, there wasn't a single... There was maybe, like, one tree. I'm not going to, like, the Montreal, like, forest. Anyways. Like, and then I went back home. Literally, I went back home at midnight. And I, I saw two friends. It's like, I spent the week alone. Mind you, now I'm feeling better. My friend called me, do you want to do something? Yeah. Both of the things weren't planned. So it's like, of course I'm gonna see my friends. I haven't seen them, I spent the week alone. Can you like blame me for real or, I don't know. I just, I think that's like one of those stupid arguments. I think his feelings are very valid. I'm not gonna be like, oh, this is like super delusional. Like why would you say that? It's not making sense. So at the same time, it's like, okay, I'm telling you, like, I, I don't know, it's just, like, simple math. Like, you saw that, like, for the two first days, I couldn't breathe. Why would I go out? I'm doing better today. I was doing better yesterday. I don't know. I feel like I have so much black build up on my teeth right now. It's disgusting. It's a little annoying because it's like, you know, when like people they just it's I basically I basically haven't seen him all week, and then all of a sudden he's back with we're like arguing. This used to be my favorite foundation, but it's like super expired, super old. I don't know if it's gonna work. It was like the. Um, 
this gave me like such flawless skin. But I think it's like expired. Let's try it. Let's see. It smells like paint. It smells like Home Depot. Oh my god, that reminds me. When I was working at Mac, there was this girl, I was putting a studio fix on her. And out of nowhere, she just said, oh my god, I literally feel like I'm at Madrona, which is like Home Depot or Lowe's. And she started screaming, she was like, oh my god, I feel like I'm at Home Depot. And I just, I couldn't stop laughing. The girl was hilarious. Like, who just, who thinks of that? Like, how funny is that really, you guys? I love that. Love that. Okay, what are we gonna do for foundation? Because I literally am running out of everything. It's like not fun. Oh, you ever have those days where your like forehead feels like tight and hard? I feel like I have a tight forehead today. Don't know how to explain it. It's just like it's just a feeling. Anyways, me and my so I saw Josian yesterday. I was supposed to see Annie today, but. Honestly, it's just like right now, me and Nathan are bickering, and it's like I don't feel like, cause you know what? It's, it's so weird. It's it's the Annie curse, cause lately every time she comes over, me and Nathan are arguing, but it's always like one-sided beefs. Like I'm never the one beefing. It's always like Nathan, and it's like oh my god, like poor her, poor her, really. Like we never get to see each other. And like every time she comes over, like it's me and Nathan arguing for no reason, for like childish stuff. So it's like I texted her, I'm like, you know what? Let's just reschedule, because at this point, and I'll make sure next week, when it's a Thursday, that I take care of Nathan. And I'm sure that he's like feeling good before she comes over, because really, it's like unacceptable behavior. I don't know, I just, honestly, I'm like kind of disappointed. I. There's nothing I hate more in life than to like argue with people. And I, like this morning, I was very calm. I was trying to take my time to like clean up the air, make sure we're on good term. And it's just like, you know, when you're arguing with someone, they, they don't have a single fact or they're not saying a single thing that makes sense. And you can't just be like, well, you're not making sense. So therefore, like, whatever you're saying is like not valid. That's not the, that's truly not the fact. I do think his emotions are valid, but at the same time, it's like, I think maybe you're just in a little bit too in your head. I mean, I, deep down inside, I do think that he just felt left out this week, that he just, like, he spent the week alone. But so do I, like I literally spent my week alone, I he was able to go out, he was able to have fun. So, and I was sick, it's not like I faked being sick. Like I literally had no voice, I, like I wasn't feeling good. doing Barbie today. Are we gonna do uh well I don't I'm not sure if it's Barbie or like bimbo fight. We'll figure it out. Oh I should have glued my top lip. I think that would be everything. Let's do that. Am I gonna be able to is it too late? Let's wait for it to dry a little. I 
But yeah, anyway, so this is my relationship drawing on. Nothing new, nothing changed. Same old shit, same old, what are we gonna do? Anyways, what I wanna do after this is I really wanna go and go on a big C ride. So big C's are like bicycles. And I really wanna go and walk, uh, do bicycle downtown with my huge, which my huge, but by the way, it's like, I, I really wanna show you guys, but you'll see at the end of the videos. They're like humongous. And like the company, they said, oh, we would like to collab, whatever. And I was like, sure, I look at the products. And I was like, I, you know what, I'm gonna go. I'll have the $400 breath plate. Thank you. So I, now I'm actually kind of nervous because I do have to create, create like content for them. But yeah, like I, I'm more like nervous about the taking the IG photos because I used to like be such a queen on IG. I used to have like the best shoot. And like, because the place is like so big, yesterday I went to like Value Village. I need to stop saying Value Village. I went to Renaissance, I went to the shoe store and I was on the lookout for like clothes that would fit the new boobs, right? Because yesterday I, did, I tried them on and I was figuring out, I was like, nothing fits. And I was like, okay, at least let me find a bra. So I think that the bra is going to fit, but I'm not sure. So that's going to be like a fun little like discovery that we're going to go through together. Okay, so if I went like this. to try a little. In the meantime, I'm gonna just highlight a little bit. Uh, I, I hate, you know, when you're like a little sick and then like sick breath. You know, when your breath smells like you're sick. It truly is like the worst feeling ever. I don't like being sick and I feel like I'm never sick. And oh my God, I was work. Oh wait, the Value Village story. Hold on, I'm sorry. Such a clut. I should keep this to carve my brows. I don't know why I'm like using this right now. There's like a few products I feel like I should just go ahead and buy again. But in my cheap little heart, I can't get myself to do so. She's a little crooked, but it's okay. That don't mean we can't like her. Okay, we're gonna blend with a beauty blender today because we are quite adventurous. So tomorrow I have a fashion show, so I'm like very excited. I have such a cute look. I'm gonna do something that is like so sophisticated. I'm honestly so excited for you guys to see it. It's gonna be like glamour AF.
Aber... show with Nathan so that's like very exciting and I'm so invited we'll see you guys excited for my bicycle video I feel like that's gonna be like so cool it's like such a cool vibe kind of high vibes only let me do like a last little layer of ash glue I can't tell like how high should I go and how out like am I gonna I don't remember how I did this last time I should have watched me should have watched me tutorial you know what I mean okay let me do my under eye So, so one of the nights that I was sick, and I then went out with like a co-worker or whatever, 
I've done he. The next day he's telling me, oh yeah, so like, um, I went there and like, I saw my ex. I was like, great, are you talking about like that one ex you were literally talking to while we were in a full-on relationship? And then, cause Nathan had like a very like, douchebag era where he like, full-on didn't care about me. Like was doing like, lots of like, rude things. Anyways. It's in the past, we moved on, but that's just like second. And then he told me like, oh, we spoke for like 10 minutes. And I'm like, why would you take 10 minutes to, to, to talk to this person for? And I'm in the back of my mind, if I saw my ex, I would like, I'm not saying don't fucking talk to them, but like, hi, how are you? Have a great night. You don't need to engage and like, I don't know, like, maybe it would have been different if like, they didn't talk, but like, you guys had like, you guys talked way more than enough in the past, like while we were together. I don't think you need to like, be all unky dory and be spending your time talking to this person when you see them at the club. Say hi, be cordial, but, and he apologized, so that was like, you know, I don't know. You know what, like, one of the worst things is when I get sick, because I'm like never sick, it's so negative, I get so negative, I'll just see dark. It was like this week, I was like working like nonstop, and it was just like, it was just like a whole lot. And because I was like working nonstop, I, I would just like go to bed early. And I just wanted to focus on like sleeping and like catching sets because it's like the worst thing you can do when you're sick is to like stay sick. Like some people they stay sick for like months because they don't take care of themselves. And I remember I remember when I was in fashion school because I would like literally sleep for three hours. I'd literally be sick for like a month and a half because I would just wouldn't take I wouldn't take the time off to just like recoup and feel better. I feel like I need to brush my teeth. Damn, there's so much black going on. So much gingivitis. Okay. There's like my topics I need to talk about. I need to get my computer. Let me just do my brows and then we'll do that. So my brow is like they're doing a little better i don't know if you guys remember how i did like that perm on my brow dumbest thing i've ever done highly regret don't know what anyways you know you win some you lose some what am i gonna say uh. Oh, 
also I feel like lately I've been like over plucking my eyebrows so I'm gonna be like in an awkward era where my brows kind of look weird for a few because I was literally looking at like snapshot memories and I was like what my brows used to be like perfect like with no makeup they would look so good and I was just like looking like um what's happening what's going on So let me tell you about yesterday. So yesterday, I went out with Shosi. So Shosi, she came to pick me up. We went to the terrace. And then I went uh, at night. She decided like she wanted to go home. So I was like, no worries. Um, I'll go see my friend Zane. So I go see Zane. So I pick him up at his job. He finishes at nine, right? So we decided like, okay, we'll like go to mine. And we'll make like the mushroom pasta. Because he's like obsessed with my mushroom pasta. I should make a tutorial on it. They're like, they're so good, you guys. So I'm like, okay, that I'm gonna go this way. So I was like, it's actually so pretty out. We should walk to my place. It's probably gonna take like 15. So I go, I go, we start walking and then we see like this art gallery, right? So we see this art gallery and I'm like, oh my God, gag, like that looks like so much fun. And there's like clearly like a, Vernissage or something happening where like there's like free food, free wine, and at first, not gonna lie, we like literally wanted to go there for like the free food and free wine. So we go there, and this lady starts talking to us. She's like so nice, she's so kind. So, so yeah, like the, the the lady's like talking to us, and we start like talking and we start mingling with everyone. It's like a whole family, and like they're there like doing like her collection. She called it. Uh, like paintings and anyways long story short we ended up staying there for like two hours just talking to these people like there was no tomorrow and Zane is supposed to have like two business meetings like he was gonna run their instagram it was like crazy it was crazy i thought it was like so fun and what touched my heart is like Zen is really not like a cute person like i'll never say anything nice to you but like i i caught a glimpse of him saying thank you so much i had so much fun last night like, who, I don't know anyone who would ever do that with me. And that, like, meant the world. I was like, oh. My story's not over. Just give me one second.
just gonna give it like a second to lock in. I don't want it to lock in, but. Okay, so I'm gonna put some. Way too late. Oops, not good. Maybe Lanya. Okay. Okay, so like, this is got it, and then I was looking for the YouTube. The first question was thoughts on I feel like this is gonna take me too much concentration because I need to do my eyes. Hold on. Let me start a little. So he said, so he asked a few questions, so we'll start with thoughts on Jeffree Star, Shane Dawson, beauty community, drama. So, I'm like super superstitious. I feel like, well, first of all, don't throw stones in a glass house. I don't think I'm one that's able to speak on like people and what they did. We all have a shady past. We all, nobody was, a, nobody was born a good person. Maybe, maybe some people were, but. I think that their downfall really was if they hadn't if they hadn't talked all that smack. I think that the fact that they played this role where they were like calling everyone out really was their downfall because it's like why would you throw why would you throw uh, stones in a glass house? It's like your bus is awful and then you have like the balls of being like you know you know what I mean. So I guess that's like as far as I would go. Yeah, don't throw stones in a glass house. Thoughts on people going broke while trying to look rich. Example, buying expensive things, going to expensive vacation, but in reality are broken doing it for other people to see and envy them. So that's a very great question because you know what? First and foremost, I'm guilty of that. 
Give me one second, I need to. Okay, so the Barbie makeup is literally like, she did like purple and like silver on the eyes. So let's do that, hold on. Let me just blend my. to find like the perfect silver dough. How am I gonna do that? <coughs> okay, well maybe we can start with the purple. We'll start with the purple. So yeah, so I feel like I am kind of, there's two things. I think that there is people who live beyond their means. And then I think that there's, just like because they like to. And then I think that there's people who live beyond their means because they want to show off. And I think that's very interesting because I think that I live beyond my means just because I like it. Like, realistically, can I afford this run here? Was it smart? No, I'd say things. But was it like a smart money move to move here? No. Like, I should have moved somewhere where the rent was like, Four hundred dollar a month split. Like I don't know, but I decided. You know what? I'm gonna have like I worked hard. I saved my money, and let me just like live like better. I guess I think that everybody should spend their money the way they want to. But I think that if you spend your money to impress others, then that's kind of cringe because at the end of the day, why do you want to impress people so bad? Like I don't know. I think that's like cringe. But also, I think that everybody wants to impress everyone. I don't know, that's like such a good question. But I don't think, I think at the end of the day, it's not the smartest, it's not the smartest move to do. I need to blow my nose, I don't know how this is gonna... <coughs> Okay, the next question was fast fashion. So I'm like super against fast fashion for like a few things. Um, first of all, like I studied in fashion design. So most of my clothes I'll either like make myself. Um, I think fast fashion is obviously like, as much as I want to be like it's bad for the planet, that's not necessarily like my first concern. Like I'm just like to keep it real. Um, I think it's just like, it's just bad, it's bad for like, well, no, it's bad for, I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that. I just like, you'll never catch me on Zara buying something. Maybe shoes, but like, when it comes to like shirt or whatever, I always go to like, Renaissance. I think it's like, it's cooler. You wanna know the real reason? I'm just cheap, I'm cheap. I'm cheap, I'm cheap, I'm cheap, I'm cheap. I don't believe in spending 40 bucks on something I know I can make. And if I'm gonna spend like $8, okay, whatever. But if it's gonna be 10, no. Absolutely not. If you're going completely mad, not happening, not on my watch. Not on my watch. Okay, let's go Oh, that's on fast food. Favorite fast food place. I love fast food. So I have two favorite spots. I love Taco Bell. I think Taco Bell just like that's different. But my like my go to is really like KFC. I'm obsessed with KFC. I love that. I think it's like the best because it just like makes you so happy. KFC is just like that girl. Don't know how else to put it. She's just like that girl. What if I didn't do like glitter? What if I just like like Okay, well I can't do glitter. 
I need to find like a cute little, because I'm thinking maybe I should just do white on the eyelid, but maybe not. It's just I want to do something that's like pale. Would this show up like pale? Yeah, I think so. Let's try that first. I don't think so actually, but let's try it regardless. Just do a little on the lower lash with the finishing. anymore but we'll try supposed to go like a little higher hold on well I guess not
my god i found the lash i was looking i don't know if you guys remember like three videos ago i was going crazy over that lash i just couldn't find it okay that's good it left that maybe this right here the photo she had like super bright inner corners so I don't know how I'm gonna make that oh well I guess like that gorge okay let's do the other side The grab on that anything no mm. it's not pink enough let's get hold on on only fan I well honestly go for it I really wanted to do one I'm just like I'm too insecure also I would not want my mom to like see stuff or like someone sends that to her I don't know it's just like that's like my worst fear so I never did it but yeah that's on grinder I think grinder is double edged sword um definitely i went there a few times thinking i would find the love of my life that that never like truly worked but i never did any o cups and i honestly went on maybe like two grinder dates and they were like pretty like uneventful tender tender was like that girl though for me i feel like i was really but tender you know what it is tender is just like so awkward to talk to people but granted, it's like less awkward because it's like people are just like so not shy. So I find it like kind of kind of interesting. Pats on the Dubai porta potty. Um, I feel like I wasn't shocked. I feel like it's been it's been a thing, and it's like not just in Dubai. I think that pretty much everywhere, like there's that 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 that's happening, but. Dubai is getting like a bad rep right now. Um, also, I think everybody's got a price. 
And I don't think that the girl should be like judged or mocked because it's like, you know what, like sh sh everybody makes decisions. If it's like consensual things, then I don't see what's bad with that. Like just because you wouldn't do it. I guess the question is would I do it? And would I let someone, I would let someone do it on my chest and my mouth, I don't know, for a million dollars, of course. But, like, you know, when it comes to the, to the principle that everybody's got a price, I, like, I think that the people who judge the artists are probably the ones who would do it too. It's like, let's not be foolish, let's not be like, oh, no, 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 I want to put it on me. Unfortunately, like, everybody, everybody can be black. The only thing that I felt, like, kind of made me sick to my stomach is the salmon up. I heard that like a girl got a live salmon in her biscuit and that part I thought like was kind of like terrible because it's like that that I feel like it does it plays with your health like first of all I feel like that's a trap is pretty big I don't know I just think that there's health health concerns that I think is like not cool but if anybody wants to take a dump on my chest for a million dollars, just call me, I'll be there. Like, let's be very real. Oops, I don't know why I just did that. I just don't want to waste the powder. It doesn't look good though, hold on. So yeah, those are my thoughts. I think you know why. It is what it is. You know, nobody should take shame, man. Yeah. Thoughts on Instagram influencer being boring and begging brands for free stuff. I feel like that I kind of like don't, I wouldn't know. So here's the thing. I, I in 2019, I was in my prime time like influencer era and no one, no one except for like, um, El Maquillage ever really sent me stuff. Like, and when brands would, like I was always like super selective because I find that like, they ask you so much stuff and like let's say influencer like to make the content like let's say your product like like let's say your product like your cost of good or whatever you're not losing money like even if you don't make a single dollar you're not really losing money your thing costs you five bucks you know like maybe small businesses are different but for like big corp corporate businesses but i don't know if people are necessarily begging i have to like maybe if you could give me like an example I could like we would talk about it like a little bit more i don't have anything on top of my mind that it's like ringing a bell of like oh yeah that person was like begging for free stuff so not really sure but i do feel like influencers are always getting like a bad rep for everything i don't know i'm an influencer with no influence <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Um, your funniest and wildest drunk story. I think I want to keep that for another video. My eye twitching right now. Did not pass the check. Do I have a white pen? I feel like I can. Or do I just have like the beige? I think that I were good, so let's go on. We are on a schedule. So yeah, my first crush was my first boyfriend. I remember like, I had seen him like a few times on Instagram and I was always like so obsessed with him. And then, um, yeah, so I guess that was my first crush. My first boyfriend was my first crush.
I say y'all. Okay. Let me get me glass glue. I should do setting spray also because I know I'm gonna sweat the breastplate in the sun. Oh, I'm really excited. I really hope that like I don't flake. No, I feel like I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it for real. I'm gonna go do like bicycle and like full Barbie glam and my huge breasts. I'm terrified that I'm gonna get banned on TikTok too. So fingers crossed that doesn't happen. Okay, and quickly do a setting spray. I feel like there was a last question, was there? Oh, my first ex sex experience was, actually, I, there's like two, like the first one, the first real one, dark. So like, let's not go there, but my first like nice one was with my first boyfriend. And I remember I was like so nervous. I was like, so, I remember I was on a mission to lose like my virginity, virginity, you know what I mean? And, we had gone to, we had gone to like Longue and we were from Laval to meet my best friend. And then I was gonna sleep over at his house for like the first time. And I was terrified of like having a UTI or anything bad happening. So I kept drinking water, I kept drinking water. And then I ended up like pissing myself on the bus. And it was like two, a two hour like bus and subway ride. So,
There you go, eyes. Almost there. I just realized it's like summertime all of a sudden. Like in Montreal, there's like no in between. Like there's no really like spring. It's either like you're freezing or all of a sudden now it's like 24 degrees outside. And it's super pretty. Like there's a bunch of trees. It's quite cute. It's quite cute. It's the vibe. It's the vibe. It's the bang. I guess we'll do world. and it's gonna want to do like bicycle with me because honestly it's like it's cute to fight but it's like at one point are we just gonna like move on and like have fun or is this like really my life
my glue contacts. I'm just gonna powder the boobs before. They are so heavy, you guys. I'm not gonna believe this. Just put on my contacts, I'll be right back. Okay, moment of truth. Hold on. Sorry, I just like don't want to flush anymore.
temper was going to fit, but I don't think it is. Oops. Hold on, let me put my, this is what I was gonna wear. Just cause I don't wanna get demonetized. Oh my God. This is like intense. I gotta get like arrested by the police. Okay, let me clean my neck. Hold on. It's like all dirty. No. They don't even look that big. No, they're huge. No, obviously they're huge. Okay. Um, but on my shoes, hold on. Almost there. <sighs> Can't breathe. I for sure thought that it would fit, uh, the bra would fit the boobs, but it's like not really. Okay. I feel like it needs a little bronzer too. I absolutely love the color of these contacts where I cannot see anything. compared to me. Do I think I'm able to bronze a little or is it gonna look fine? These are so heavy, you guys. This is like intense. Okay, let me put my wig on. Oh my god, I'm gonna fix this right here. I need like a buckle, a belt. Let me find a belt one second. Let's do wig. I'm like so out of breath, 
you guys are not joking. This is intense. Let me show the final look. I so can. Anyways, um, thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna go outside and do some, well, I'm gonna do a few TikToks that I'm gonna go and do like a bicycle video. So, um, so and if I don't, it's because I got attacked. I don't know. These are heavy, heavy, but like I feel like they overall, they kind of look good. next week actually i'll see you guys tomorrow because i'm gonna film a video tomorrow so kisses i'll see you guys soon bye